Instead of innovating in the mobile MMO genre, we get uh, this, the same mundane, repetitious, recycled content that we have been getting for years now. So I just woke up and I have been recording Blade & Soul Revolution for the last couple hours and having invested a few hours into the game, I have come to the conclusion that this is exactly like every other mobile MMO out there. I know that there are people that are genuinely enjoying themselves in this game right now. And you know what, more power to you. I'm glad that some of you out there are genuinely enjoying your time in this game. But myself, on the other hand, I am really not. I was expecting something akin to Blade & Soul. This game is essentially a copy paste mobile port of the PC MMORPG Blade & Soul. Upon logging into the game for the very first time, you are greeted with the very same introductory experience as you are in the PC game, which was actually kind of cool to see. It looked very similar, it played very similar, granted, you know, from a mobile perspective, but while it does in fact offer, at least with regards to the narrative, an experience that is exactly the same as the PC version, outside of that, this game is everything you would expect out of a mobile MMO. It plays by itself. You click your quest, it auto pats you to your quest objective, whether that means that you're supposed to talk to an NPC, whether it means that you're supposed to engage monsters in battle, it does all of that for you. It is complete autoplay. All you're actively required to do is click equip on your gear and every so often, occasionally click skip on the cutscenes if you don't really want to listen to and watch them. Now, if we're looking at this from the perspective of a mobile MMO, this isn't bad. This game is essentially exactly like the majority of other mobile MMOs out there. So by that logic, once again, that means that this game isn't a bad title, but if we're looking at it from the perspective of an MMORPG, whether that means mobile MMO or PC MMO or console MMO, this game is hot garbage, especially comparatively to the PC variant of the game. Now, this game surprisingly does nothing well. If you look at, for example, Black Desert Mobile, they actually took the time there to set itself apart from Black Desert Online. It was more of a unique experience than Blade & Soul Revolution, which is a copy-paste autoplay game that honestly looks and feels a lot like uh, Lineage 2 Revolution, if I'm gonna be honest here. But then I think it is also done by the same company, right? Like they're both done by a Chinese company as opposed to a South Korean company. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know, I, I guess I'm gonna need to research that a little bit after the video. Now, I would love to dedicate more time to this game. I would love to play through it more. But at the same time, like, I have my phone hooked up to the wall here, charging, making sure I keep the battery up as high as I possibly can. And at the same time, like it is auto playing itself. It I have literally no interaction with what is going on at all. So with this in mind, I feel like I have played very, very little of the game. I think I've spent maybe a grand total of like four, maybe five minutes closing out of some of the menus. And that is the extent of essentially what I've played. Now, again, is this a bad game? No, by no means is this a bad game. It is a very traditional, very basic, very generic copy and pasted port of a popular PC game but that's about it. It doesn't innovate. It, it doesn't really do anything to set itself out, to stand out, but that is just my opinion after all and my impressions of the game based off of the couple hours I spent in it. What do you guys think though? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.